This is Chag Food. We're a three acre market garden uh, on the northeast edge of Dartmoor. Um, we're growing ecologically produced vegetables um, uh, under a community supported agriculture scheme for um, local residents in, in nearby villages. We currently have 48 members who we supply a weekly share of the harvest to. Membership for Chag Food is an annual subscription which runs from April to April the following year and the membership um, fees for a large share are £600 for the year and for a small share of £440 and that works out at about £15 a week for a large box which will have up to 20 different items in it and for a small box it's £11 a week with the same number of items but usually a smaller quantity. now set ourselves up as a community interest company which means we're run by the members but we control the day-to-day -day processes. So we have an active community of um, members who like to come and get involved um, on, down in the field on the harvest day each week. Um, they come and help with thing, the packing, uh, a lot of the harvesting, a lot of preparing the bunches of flowers for the boxes. I've sort of been committed to organic and local vegetables for years really. Like I brought all my children up on them. Um, but I've never been part of a scheme where I can actually see them growing and I've done the weeding in the spring and I've actually um, you know, seen them evolving week by week and they're so fresh and so the, the difference is, I mean things like the cherry tomatoes are just so not like anything else you can buy. Well for us the benefits of the box are A we know exactly where it's come from you know we know we know Chini, she's a friend but we know how passionate she is about her food and it's all grown you know in this beautiful environment 20 minutes from where we live um, and um, we get a large box there's four of us in our family and that's just perfect for the week the thing that i would recommend to people who are interested in setting up a csa project is to really identify first a need for it within the community so that you know that you've got the support and also to acquire the skills to do it so you need to be able to work out what kind of land you need, what implements you're going to use to, to cultivate it and then whether you can grow the vegetables. I think the best thing is to really plan it a lot. It took us two years to plan setting it up and we're still learning. For me, I think that the wider CSA movement um, is going to grow more and more as food prices increase and fuel prices increase. And what we're trying to do on quite a small scale is show that local food can be very resilient to these um, price increases whilst also um, teaching people more about how food is produced and engaging with the community more. Yeah, I think for me, as a grower, it's all about the vegetables. I just get really excited about our veg every week. It looks amazing, it tastes amazing, the members love it. And when we get emails back from people saying that they're really pleased, that's what I'm most proud of. And everything else, the business, the financing, working it all through gives me an enormous sense of satisfaction, but it's the veg. <laughs> that's just delicious and it grows <laughs> yeah.